What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua. Get this. Eddie Joshua weighs in on Tyson Fury, and this is what he has to say. Everyone's wiser than that now. He said, we don't feel comfortable. Anthony doesn't feel comfortable in scrapping those two fight plans in the hope of Tyson Fury clash. I don't know whether this is a bit of a PR from Queensberry, but nothing's changed. Whenever they come out and say, oh, AJ's turned down the fight against Tyson Fury. Come on. Everyone's wiser than that now. You've only got to look on the comments on social media. Last week, he was fighting for different people. Tyson Fury is really in no man's land and that's the reason he is and the reason he's in no man's land is because he wants a massive money fight and if he's not fighting AJ or he's not fighting Usyk which isn't at the moment who's he going to fight? Hmm. Um Everyone, he also said, everyone's under a lot of pressure right now because Tyson Fury hasn't fought since December, and that was with Derek Chisora. We are now in June. Now when you talk about fighting in September, if he's in any kind of fight, he ain't going to fight uh, Alexander Usyk in December, which is Saudi's plans. Nothing has changed since last week, and we have a plan to fight August 12th and then in December. And those are the words of Eddie Hearn, and let me counterpunch. Basically, what Eddie's saying and reconfirming that they don't believe Tyson Fury. They think Tyson is just looking for a big money fight because he's running out of options, so he might as well try to take someone else's options. You know what I mean? And it makes sense. You went from Dempsey McKean to Zilly Zhang and Joe Joyce. Um, Andy Ruiz wanted too much money and I'm like, okay, well, why didn't you offer him something? Because it would seem like to me that was, you, you look, Andy is a guy I think is, you know, he was too good for his own damn good once upon a time when he bashed up and beat up Anthony Joshua. I think people cringed to watching that because they seen money flush down the toilet. See, Anthony Joshua and Wilder are supposed to have been the biggest heavyweight fight that we possibly ever had, but it wasn't because Joshua lost one year and then Wilder lost seven or eight months later. And then all that money went away. The possibility of those two champions at the time getting it on never went down. It never happened. So I think, you know, uh, back to Tyson, Tyson, the idea of fighting someone like Andy Ruiz, like, no, you know, he's my, he may be a bad symbol for a guy that only rises to certain occasions when those odds are impossible or all stacked up against him. But the point being made, people, there were so many other fights that he was talking about making. You know, so Dempsey McKean, whatever happened to him? Why are we now just trying to talk about AJ after knowing AJ is supposed to have a, a standard or a huge deal with Deontay Wilder and he's fighting again in August? Then all of a sudden, when we know this information, when we found out that Joshua is in Texas training for a fight, then we see Tyson Fury come in talking about let's have a fight in September. You know what I mean? And what also what Eddie's saying is, well, if he wants to fight in September instead of fucking August... He knows that he won't fight Alexander Usyk. And that goes back to my point where if you know you have that date in September, you have September, October, November, December, you're not going to fight Alexander Usyk in December. You know, something will go about, something will go down where Tyson won't be ready and he'll want another Derek Chisora type fight before taking on Alexander Usyk. Why? I don't fucking know. That's Tyson. Tyson likes these easy touches. And I think, honestly, Tyson has got accustomed to getting a whole lot of money for fighting nobodies. Okay, because besides Deontay Wilder, there was no one else but tune-ups. You got Derek Chisora. Dillian White was very impressive to me. So that's an exemption. So you can't say that. So Dillian White. But then, you know, you have Otto Violin. Why wouldn't you fight him? He's ready all the fucking time. He's begging for a fight. He ain't mentioned him since. That's strange. You know what I mean? Because he was another scare. 
right? He was a near Andy Ruiz, like uh, a fighter, okay? But you you just have these guys. Now I'm looking around for a fight, and I'm like, okay, you have fighters that will want to fight. You got Frank Sanchez willing. You got Otto Vailene willing. Dempsey McCain, remember him? You got a lot of fights that could happen. And these big fights, him just trying to, to, to think that he's big enough to call out these guys like Floyd used to do, he's not. That's what it shows me. Tyson's trying to be this uh, mongol fighter that, hey, I want that fighter. I want that fighter. Give me that fighter. I want to fight him then and now. Make it happen. And obviously, he's not. He's not that guy. I'm sorry. You're not Floyd. Okay, because Floyd could do that. Oh, 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 oh I want to fight Ares Landy Lada. That fight will be made like that. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh I want Canelo. That fight will be made just like that. He's not there because he hasn't shown us that he belongs there. He's shown us a bunch of talk. He's shown us that he's a showman. He's shown us that he's not a Spartan. He's shown us that he's a businessman. He's shown us that he's a liar. He's shown us that he's contradictive. He's shown us a lot of things other than getting in the ring and beating the best opponents. That's why he's not getting fights like Joshua, because Joshua's big enough by himself to do his own thing, and he's decided to do that. Because the last time he's done that and put trust in another fight, like a fighter like and it was Tyson Fury, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn stating that Anthony Joshua does not believe Tyson Fury's call out and it is genuine and they have their own plans. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.